There's not much here. Today's title, There's Not Much Here. I don't know where it started. The title creeped in like the sunlight through the morning window. What's new in your world today? Same things, different day. What's for dinner? The million dollar a day question. My car is low of gas and tomorrow is a long road trip day. Spring soccer, they say. There was no beach ball in the woods today. That's only on windy days. I wish I'd checked all my hidden places before going and buying more canvases. Today was a fun day in the studio. My studio has always been a place to escape from the true moments of life and forget all about what's wrong in the world. I googled how to get your ceiling fan to stop wobbling. The other day, I went to turn my big canvas on my easel around. It locked in the arms of a fan blade. It makes racket sounds now, so if you hear something weird. You see that crowning on Grammy? Google did help. I tried a few things, and I think it's better. Silly enough, I mentioned a few videos back how I filmed one week and edited the next week. Well, that very week, it failed. It fell through to filming and editing the same video the same week. Not sure how I like that, filming and editing the same week. How I got there, or if it's worth going back, filming the week before, then editing the following, all while filming the next week's video. All I know is I'm struggling with all the other live calls to keep up with the Monday uploads, keeping it real for all of us. This filming day, I wanted to include some of my regular tasks I do for my family as a homemaker outside the studio. Homemaker is my first and foremost job. Always has been, and I love it. It's easy some days, and some days will wear you flat out. No matter the age of your children, life happens and pulls other weights in, and especially for this season, is a little heavier. We lost a few staplement men of all ages across the family. We've had to all draw clothes for providing helping hands and this is so in my homemaker task for bringing the family together around the table once a week. I'm talking extended family outside the home. Believe me, for family in the home, dinner at the table has always been important to me. We provide a safe place for my kids and husband to have an insightful educational discussions. This week the canvas were on sale, so I snagged a few. Of course, I've tried to talk myself out of the art market again, and that one little canvas I keep trying to revive, woo, it's a doozy. I think I finally conquered it. After seeing it next to some of its familiar family series members, it felt right. I wanted to open up the new canvases I purchased and carried into the studio, but I got distracted working on that small piece and then looking in the windowsill where I found those other canvas. Then for three days after I painted on the big canvas that's on my easel, the one you've seen me uh, that I've been creating on, my word of the layers and twists and turns and stories this canvas holds. I've gotten so lost in my time painting on it so many times, but I feel like we are heading in the right direction. I recently went to Hobby Lobby. I had a gift card there that one of my girls gave me one year for Christmas and I've yet to use it. But anyway, I was needing a new eraser and a new sharpener in the studio. It never fails that when I go to look for one, I can't ever put my hands on them, so I said, you know what, those are two small little things I can put a stop to. So I purchased them one day whenever I was in there. The time changes this weekend and I couldn't be more excited. Although we do lose an hour, I'll be looking everywhere for it. Whoever's in charge of the time needs to leave it one way and be done. I truly believe it would help with depression and overall health. 
this stash of papers that I was going through, I did in a season that I wasn't, um, it was a couple years ago, um, during a time that I wasn't able to spend as much time in the studio, that I had to do something because I was in a place of grief of not being able to have my time in the studio. And so the least I could do is every morning walk in the studio, grab a couple of note cards and smear some paint into place. And I said, you know, at some point in time, I'm going to use those pieces of painted swatch note card for something. So here I'm trying, I'm trying to salvage and still work on that little canvas. I haven't quite gotten it together and you'll see me continue working with those circles. But I'll be honest with you, I didn't end up using one. And you can eventually kind of what see my frustration doing? with it whenever I set them free in the air. But over to the right hand side of the screen, you see that I just laid those circle stencils, stencils on top of it. But that uh, pad that's been laying there that's the mixed media cans. And I got that years ago. I say years ago, it was just a couple at Michael's. Well, Michael's is not carrying them anymore. But I like to have those because they are mixed media sheets and they have a thick backing on them to where uh, basically your page doesn't bend once you tear it out. Well, so I got online and I looked up some and I found a couple of different places that had it and I thought, well, the best easy route is to go through Amazon. Well, I got that package in and I opened it up yesterday and the darn things then fell all apart and I guess it got damaged during shipping. I've contacted Amazon and we'll you see hear that what noise of that fan. I'm telling you. I had to Google it to figure out how to get it to stop. Okay, so just above the little canvas there you see a couple stacks of some painting. I just propped the canvas up on it. Those are from a series that I did for Christmas and sent out as uh, cards for my Christmas cards this year. Those were a few that I had left behind. And just under that mixed media notepad I was telling you about, you see a couple more pieces of cardboard under there. That is from a series that I did uh, at the beginning of last summer. And they never sold, and so I cut those babies up. I want to make a video one day about that. and just share my process of creating a series and it not selling and me getting mad wild and cutting those things up. But that's going to be for another we day. I took the day trip to watch my daughter's team play in a 7v7 tournament. She played four 30-minute games back-to-back. -back. It wore her out and me too. She ended up having an allergic reaction to playing on the grass in the spring. She hasn't played spring ball since elementary. My husband said, you'd think you'd played the game. The games, ha. Huh. The sun, although I was under an umbrella, wore me out, the pollen. The drive was almost two hours one way. One day soon, this season of life will pass and I will miss it for sure. I have a long list of things I want to accomplish in the studio. It just seems time stands still sometimes in the studio. I do try to embrace it. What's something you're working towards or what's something new you've tried? I want to gather old vintage frames like say from Goodwill or Salvation Army, any type of thrift store to uh, house some of my artwork in. I think it would look really really cool especially going into market I can't say that it's gonna happen I have all these dreams wishes and ambitions to have take place before market but hey, I think just gathering a collection of artwork is gonna be a huge win you know just accomplishing that I don't know if you saw where I just walked in that little plant sitting on the desk over there I just picked that up the other day at Walmart. I have a few of those in my home home area and I wanted something green there in the studio. I've had a flower in there before and of course it didn't live. But anyway, I wanted to try because I've had success with that type of plant. But the reason I'm telling you about that plant is just yesterday I was in the studio tinkering on something 
and I knock my big um, tripod over, the one I use for overhead filming, and the darn thing fell off. I had moved the plant to a different location, and the thing fell off and knocked that plant off, and dirt went everywhere. I had to get the vacuum out. There was a bumblebee in the white azalea bushes. They come every year for these bushes. On my walk, I stopped to film them and then heard my dog's collar rattle. She'd gotten in the swimming pool. We let her swim, but not until we say it's okay. Silly dog. And she just had a bath recently. We technically walk our backfield, but this was an exciting day for her. She was just pumped up, and so I thought, okay, let's get in the gate, and that way I could set her off of her leash and let her run free. Well, she ran free, all right. 